Okay, guys, I want to give you the holy grails. Two things that I live and die by in life. One of them is baking soda. The other thing is this, this Bayer Home Pest Plus Germ Killer. Let me stop. Okay, Bayer Advanced Home Pest Plus Germ Killer. Um, up to 12 months indoor insect protection. Reduces 99.9% of the germs insects may leave behind, kills wide range of crawling, flying, and wood infesting pests, right? Okay, so let me tell you about this um, thing, all right? So first, let me tell you, it has a nozzle, and the nozzle, it comes out in spray or stream, right? And um, it didn't cost, I want to say, about $12.99 or $13.99. And I get it from Lowe's. The only place that it seems like I have been able to find it is um, Lowe's or um, Amazon. Because Home Depot, they have their own brand of pest killer, but it's nothing in comparison to this. Now, let me tell you about this and how I got introduced in it, to it and how I consider it to be the Holy Grail. Okay, so y'all, I'm not going to fake. I have lived in urban areas my whole life. Uh, you know, when I got older, I didn't live in urban areas. But when I was younger, I did. So at any rate, um, I dealt with pests ranging from um, roaches to rats in my home, right? And Tyler was so funny because we used to live in this place called um, George Washington Carver um, Apartments over there on the south side of... Um, DC and I'm telling you the apartments look like uh the apartments look just like like slave quarters that's how serious it was the apartments look just like slave quarters so at any rate um and I was too young I didn't know what a mouse was and I didn't know what a rat was so I was so young that I didn't even understand that uh nay those are not mice love they're rats you're living with rats and we just you know, we just accepted it for what it was because that was what my mom could afford at the time, you know. So, um, you know, I just, you know, those things, those were a part of my life, you know, good or bad, we all had it. So then uh, when we moved uh, back to Michigan Park, we didn't have a problem with none of that, right? So then um, we moved out again to the next hood, um, Moy Street over there in Northwest Child. We had everything. We had uh, roaches. Um, um, we had roaches, mice. And there's where I learned the difference between mice because we had mice on Morton Street. And we was like, oh, what we had before, that must have been rats because this right here is much big, is much smaller than what we was dealing with over there. In, in on the south side, that was much smaller. But at any rate, we had everything. We had roaches, we had mice, we had water bugs, cockroaches, mostly roaches and mice, right? So, um, and because we lived in like a old, a very, very old building. And what we did was with us, how we were groomed that um, sometimes no matter how clean you are, if you live in an apartment complex, you can't really control um, the the influx of roaches in your home right you can't control it because no matter how clean you are your neighbors may be dirty as a mug and then you end up with roaches because they dirty right so and plus um there was a concern with water in the basement and y'all know if it's water problems in a building you're going to contend with all kinds of pests right so anyway my mom used to teach us okay nene um just as much as you can, not as much as you can, because you didn't play that mess, but keep my house clean, right? And we write down everything with um, Clorox every night in the kitchen, you know, swept and mopped the floor, um, the countertops, made sure there was no dishes in there, and we kept the house clean. It wasn't, like, full of clutter at all, because my mom truly believed that, she truly believed that, okay, if you can't stop them, at least you can see where they're coming from or where they're going, which is true. That's why I don't like to have a lot of furniture in my home or a lot of clutter or anything like that. Like, child, I go through, like, my clothes. Like, it seems like every season I throw away clothes because before you know it, them motherfuckers be in your daggone closet and you be like, how the heck did oh, all this is getting on? And 
But anyway, then we moved out of, um, off of Moore Street, we moved further up to Montgomery County, Silver Spring, and Roaches was not a problem. So then I moved out on my own, and my first apartment was great. It was in a great neighborhood. It was like, well, it was like a diamond in the rough, right? It's like one of them areas where, you know, it's it's a problem in the surrounding area, but you just so happen to find a good spot. So anyway, I found a good spot, and um, we didn't have no problems with past none. Until child, we got this neighbor. He moved upstairs, and he was like, um, he moved upstairs, and he was like, um, I don't know what he was doing up there. I don't know. He might have been feeding the roaches, but next minute, you know, all I know is we had an influx of roaches, child, and it was terrible. I couldn't kill them motherfuckers for nothing, and I had like no furniture. And then, you know, the only thing that I knew to kill roaches were, with was boric acid. So I put the boric acid down, but it wasn't doing nothing. So I couldn't fix them Highsville roaches because them Highsville roaches was doing like, I don't know, they was on crack or something. I couldn't get rid of them. So when I got rid of, when I, I couldn't get rid of them, so I ended up moving. And when I moved, I moved to um, this other neighborhood, right, where it wasn't a problem with roaches, but what it was was it was um, a problem with um silverfish and it was so bad that like you could catch them mother suckers like in your bed like y'all know what I'm talking about silverfish centipede type things them mother suckers was like in your bed and like not like all the time but you know like how you be like oh Jesus Lord what is that crawling on me it was it they were everywhere it was ridiculous so then my cousin, she was going through some drama too at her house because she had a water leak in her house and she was going through roaches. She was like, Nay, Nay, get you some bear, girl. That stuff takes care of everything, no matter what you're dealing with, everything. So, um, so um, I got it and it was no more problems. I mean, none. All I was seeing, like I was getting up out of the bed and I was like, oh my God, what is that? And child was dead. If it wasn't struggling for his life, child, it was, or, or dying, it was already dead. That's how bad it was. And then like um, where I lived at, it was like this, um, my balcony. And wherever I live, child, it's got to have a beautiful view. So I had a balcony, but these daggone hornets had um, started, um, these hornets had started, um, um, you know, building like a nest or, or a, a hive or whatever on my um, on my balcony. Oh, and what they was not going to do was take my balcony view from me. That was what they was not going to do. So I knocked it down and then I sprayed like the whole balcony. The balcony was enclosed. Like I sprayed it from like top to bottom. Child, it went years before I seen anything flying up there on me. Child, I could go to sleep on that dang on balcony and it wouldn't be no problems. I'm telling y'all, and y'all know when y'all had them hornet problems, even if you knock down a nest, sometimes them hornets still come back, right? So now, um, that was like the only problem that I had there. So that is proof that they kill crawling and flying bugs. But then let me tell you this, right? So anyway, I'm in this old building now. Child, when I tell you we got water problems, I love my area. It's in a historic area. Love, love, love it. But child, the maintenance people, they don't live on the property or the rental office is not on the property. So, you know, they get down to us when they feel like it. Child, it's leaking all over the place. So it's water problem. So then I was out there talking to the neighbors and the neighbors was like, oh my God, I can't take it. I can't live here no more because it's all these roaches. And I was like, oh Jesus. So I, I haven't had a problem with roaches. And then like the neighbor downstairs said that she had seen a roach. And I was like, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. So what I did was I took my good old bear and I sprayed like up and down the entire hallway. We got a trash room downstairs sprayed in the trash room like every two three weeks i spray in the laundry room because it's moist down there because like i said it's a laundry problem and i spray the entire hallway and plus i spray my um i spray my um sunroom because that's where the uh, water leakage is and it has like glossy paint on it so child i spray in there all over the place and the best thing about this is that you can spray it in one room 
and then you can go in another room and you can be fine. If you stay in there, the most is going to happen to you is like you can be coughing. But, you know, I ain't going to say for you to stay in there and, and sit there and cough unless you like a huff or something. You know, them dag on huffers. They'll sniff or dag on. I don't know what they sniff some of them. I don't know. Binocular juice. I don't know. But the stuff is the Holy Grail. And I'm telling you, like, the buildings that it's one building that's connected to me. And um, it's a building that's connected to them. Them people's just complaining about the roaches chair, and they've been complaining about it a while. But I'm like, oh no, we don't have them problems here. Now I can't say. Now I know I definitely don't have a problem, and I know I definitely have uh, water issues. But there's no sign of them. There's no nothing. So it says right here, outdoor barrier, the treatment. It's not a game, y'all. I'm telling y'all. These people, these neighbors next to me, they is upset. They like, Lord Jesus, this is fire. Help me. I don't know what to do. I'm about to move out of here. Blah, blah, blah. Y'all, I have absolutely no problems. I wish I would have known that from my place in Hyattsville. Um, I would have heard about this. I don't know how long this stuff has been out. I don't know. But I'm telling y'all, put this stuff down. I put it in my cabinet. I put it like in the crevices of the wall, like around the top, around the bottom, around the baseboards, um, you know, around the stove, um, in cabinets, of course, anywhere that you could think where they would, um, you know, thrive at. So I don't have no problems, you know. Now, watch me. As soon as I put this video out and I hit the off button, watch it be a roach right there. But that's not a joke because I don't like roaches. I can't do it. I can't do it. But anyway, guys, I'm telling y'all this stuff is the holy grail. Try it out. It's, um, it's, um, 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 like it's clear. So it doesn't have like, um, it doesn't leave behind a residue or anything. I'm telling you, it's awesome, guys. It's called Bayer Advanced Home Pest. Okay, so check it out. You get it from Lowe's only, and I've seen it on Amazon. If you know it from anywhere else, or if you know anything about the the, the thing, and if you tried it, and if it worked for you, let me know below. Okay, y'all. Deuce.